It's, it's a lot of interest now in the life of Christ, and that's beautiful. People asking questions, you know. Secular people asking questions. I heard somebody ask this question. He posed this question, and I thought it was interesting. They asked, well, was Jesus married? And I was like, wow, no, the scripture doesn't say that. You know, that's all you got to go by. And I thought about it. I said, wow, what if Jesus was married? You can imagine that. You imagine the pressure that would be? You, you done took the, the form of man to come to this earth to do nothing but die for our sins. And look, and you got pressure of being mad on top of that? That's pressure. <laughs> uh, Mary makes you test what I'm saying. You God on this earth, performing miracles to die for our sins. You come home from a hard day's work, wife waiting on you to look at you. <laughs> Where you been, Jesus? Huh? Where you been, huh? Where you been, Jesus? You've been gone for a while. So you mean to tell me you've been going for 40 days and I'm supposed to believe that you just in the woods fasting and praying. I must look like a fool to you, Jesus. I'm tired of this here, Jesus. I'm sick of this here. You probably was out with your little 12 friends. They're always following you around. I don't trust none of that Peter. I don't even want to turn on you as soon as you get a chance. I don't trust none of them. I ain't got to follow you around. You have to wait on you to feed him and all of that. This don't, make, this don't make no sense. I'm sick of this. And I'm, I'm hearing things in the street, Jesus. What's this about some woman crying and washing her feet, your feet with her tears? What's up with that, Jesus? Huh? Why she got to put her hands on your feet, Jesus? I'm sick of this here. <laughs> Some other woman took going around telling people all she had to do was touch your garment. I, I don't appreciate that. What, what she got to put her hands on you, Jesus? I'm tired of this, Jesus. I need, I need me. You saved everybody. You need to save your marriage. Time for me. I need you to talk to me, Jesus. How come every time I ask you something, you gotta answer me in parables? And talk to me, Jesus. Talk to me. <laughs> that is pressure. <laughs> Imagine no. Imagine the pressure Noah was You've been building an ark for a hundred years, and it ain't rained yet. It ain't never rained before, you wife. You know what you do with that big old thing in our yard? Spend all our money building this doggone thing? I'm just going to rain. You need to tear that thing down and get our money back. It ain't never rained before. Got these nasty animals in my backyard. Get the nasty animals out of my backyard. Got me around here itching. I'm sick of this Noah. Come on, I think I'm getting on the ship with you and all them animals. You got no thing coming. I ain't going. And my turn ain't going neither. That is pressure. Imagine Jonah. Imagine Jonah coming back home after three days. You come home and tell your wife you've been going in the belly of a whale. Where you been, Jonah? You've been going since Thursday. You gonna come in here and tell me that you was in the whale? That's all you can come up with? That's the best you can do, Jonah. Girl, he said a whale. He been gone all weekend. A whale, girl.
That is pressure. <laughs>